Hi everybody. Have you ever had a flat tire like out in the country or like in a town where there's no tire shop to bring it to? Um, well, I'm gonna see if I can do it myself in my driveway. Just a few simple tools. Got here uh, needle nose vice grips. Just a regular Swiss Army knife. This is a tire plug kit, not that expensive, and uh, a pump, electric pump you plug into your your car. Uh, let's see if we can do this. Okay, look right here. I found where the the nail was. Right there. So I don't want to spend any money. So I like to do things myself if I can. So this one looks like it's in pretty good. I don't know if I can really grab that, but we're gonna we're gonna try. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. Whoa. Just a little nail. I throw that out and I'll leave it in my driveway. Actually, I'm going to just put it back in just so the tire doesn't go as flat while I'm prepping my other stuff. I don't mind if it leaks a little bit. I'm going to open this up. Open up my kit here. That comes with some uh, rubber cement. Pretty simple. And these rubber rubber plugs, which come out very simply. They're actually pretty sticky. They're in the car on a hot day, so they're pretty pretty rubbery. And that's what's gonna keep your air from coming back out after you push it in. They're on pretty good. <laughs> okay, so I'll just need the one comes with two tools this one here you jab in the hole and you just kind of scar it up a bit just to give this something to to grip onto okay so we're gonna pull that back out again put that one back in there and just because you see that it's on my car still so I'm not I can do this without without taking it off. Oh, you gotta push pretty hard, but just spin it as you push and pull. Okay. Okay, then your next tool is this thing here. You stick the thing through the hole. For a second. Just keep the air from coming out as fast. Oh yeah, just kind of squeeze that down, feed it through that little little eye there. It's like a it's like a big needle. Get to the halfway point like that. And then you fold it down over itself. Okay, so now I'm gonna pull that nail back out. Just jam it in there. Squeezing it in quite small. Uh, well, that's actually tougher than I thought it would be to get in there. It helped to spin it a little bit. Uh, 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 holy. That's tough to get in there. She has a little muscle. Uh. Uh. Whew. 
Okay, I don't know if that's gonna work. That's not gonna work. the little nail. Okay, so I had a hard time getting that first one in there. Didn't make the hole big enough, I think. So I gotta, I gotta, I gotta push this thing in and out a little bit more. Just gotta scratch it up a little bit. Make that thing easier to push in. So okay, you hear how fast it comes out. So I'm gonna leave that in while I get the other thing ready. Okay, so it's gonna do this again. These things work better when they're not straight out of your hot car. They're kind of like a tar, kind of, it's like a rubbery, tarish kind of thing. So it's sticking to the inside of the tire as I push. So I'm going to quickly pull this out and then jab that thing in there. Doesn't work as good on a hot day, I tell you. I hope that's gonna be good. I don't wanna have to do this again tomorrow. Okay. Now I need to get it out, but leave it in there. Leave the rubber in there. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna push it in a little bit more. Like this one. So the trick is to hopefully it opens up on the inside and plugs the hole. So I'm just gonna like that. And it's gonna stick to itself. Okay, so now I don't want to leave that piece hanging off there because I don't want it to pull out. So I'm gonna take my my knife here. Let's see. Just be careful not to cut myself here. Okay. It's looking pretty good. It doesn't matter if there's a little bit there, that'll get worn off on the on the road. Okay, so you throw that piece in the garbage. Um, okay, we're done with the knife. Uh, okay. Now, just uh, taking the plug off. So now I'm going to pump it up. Yeah, I had a little forethought to, to buy one of these earlier, just in case, because I knew I was living out of town, so I drive on the highway mostly, so I don't always have a place to pump up my tires. This one here is pretty simple. Just runs off the car battery. And I just screw that onto here. 
and it's one of the ones that locks on so I don't have to hold it there. Okay. And then, okay, it says it's at uh, just under 30 psi, so it should only take a few minutes. I gotta get it up to probably almost 40. Oh, I gotta turn the key on. push the button and I'll just let it run. Okay, so that's been about, I don't know, about seven minutes or so. Uh, I went up almost five PSI in that time. Uh, and we're just about at 40 now. I don't want to go, I don't want to go past 40, so I'll just give that another, for another minute. That should be good, at least till I get to town and then I can use a, use a regular compressor to, Top her the button the stopper just unscrews oh yeah that does get warm Ooh. oh yeah I wouldn't want to hold on to that okay so just put the cap back on seems like it's holding holding pressure don't hear any leaking Yeah, it sounds pretty quiet. Um, there we go. Simple as that. Right, my driveway took, uh, I don't know, the pumping time alone took about seven, eight minutes. The prep work took about the same amount of time, so 15 minutes, saved myself at least 20 bucks. Paid for the plug kit, so next time is, next time's free. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.